Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Eliza Fi Creative. Today I'm going to be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial in Illustrator creating this Beach Vibes design. But before I get started, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So step one is to pick your font using the type tool, which is located in the left-hand side in Illustrator. The font I use for the word beach is called Barracata which was on adobe.com. You have to have a subscription, but I will link that down below, as well as for the word vibes, I'm using a font from defont.com. It's 100% free, so I will also link that down below. Once you've picked your fonts, make your layout how you want, and then we will move to step two. So the next step is to outline the fonts, so I'm just gonna select them and then hit Shift Command O on my keyboard. To split the word beach, I'm going to use my pen tool and drag a line across and then duplicate it so I have two lines. And then I'm going to select the word beach and the lines and then hit divide in the pathfinder tool. And then ungroup it all and select each individual piece for the letters and hit merge. And then you should have something that looks like this. And this is how to split the word beach. So I'm just gonna hit Command Z on my keyboard to backtrack my steps just so the word beach goes back together. So because I merged each line together, I am able to click each individually and then select I on my keyboard to get the eyedropper tool and change the colors on each line, just like this. We're gonna make the outline on the top layer there. So as you can see, there's that blue around the white. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So click that top layer and then hit Command C to copy and then Command F to paste in front. While that's still selected, kill the fill and then add a stroke and then click align stroke to inside and add a weight of two or three or whatever you think looks good. While that's still selected, go up to object, expand and then merge. Click A on your keyboard and this will select the direct select tool. Click a node on the outside of each shape and then click delete on your keyboard and you will get the outline of the shapes. We're going to merge the light blue and the white. We're gonna click Y for the magic wand tool. This allows us to select each shape with the same colors and then hit merge in the pathfinder tool. And then select the colors you want for your shapes and you have created the beach part of this design. And then move the word vibes above the word beach and then change the color to yellow. To cut the B from the A, click Command C and then Command B to paste behind. And then add a stroke, whatever weight you think looks good. And then once you've added the stroke, go up to object and expand appearance. And then once it's expanded, hit merge, and then select the A and click divide. And then click the black and delete, and you should have something that looks like this. To make the dark blue background, select everything and hit Command C and Command B to paste behind. Select merge in the pathfinder tool and then select the color you'd like it to be. And then add a stroke with the same color and whatever weight you'd like it to be. I think this looks good right about here. And then once I've done that, go up to Object Expand Appearance and then go to the Pathfinder tool and hit Merge. I like to make it look like it has a little bit more of a 3D effect. So I'm just going to make the blue background a little bit thicker and then move it over to the right a bit so it has a little bit of an offset. So that's just what I'm doing here. So now I'm adding the white lines and all I'm doing is using the pen tool and following the lines of the letter B. I'm going to make sure that it has a white stroke with a weight of two and a rounded cap. I'm going to add this effect throughout all the letters of the word beach. All right guys, so we're coming down to the end of the tutorial. If you've stuck around this far, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I will show you my outcome in a second here. I definitely like this design a lot. If you're interested, I have a sticker in my Society6 store with this particular design. I will link that down below. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.